one. Hi, my name is John LaDrew with Melco International. Welcome to another Digital Monday. Today we're excited to show you about how on the F2100 to do some of the basic manual maintenance. There's a lot of automated maintenance on this thing, and we'll talk about that a little bit, but I wanna show you how to get in there and clean the parts that you need to clean. There's no real right amount of time to clean them. It's more of an as needed. It is some preventative stuff, but um, we just like to keep your printer clean, keep it healthy and happy, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna need the, the maintenance kit that comes with your printer, pull out, your, um, your uh, measuring cup, put a little bit of cleaning solution in that cup because we're gonna use it. And then on the screen, I'm gonna show you uh, where we go to clean what's most one of the most important things, which is the head cap. So under maintenance, let's go down to head cap cleaning, maintenance, head cap cleaning, and proceed. It's gonna ask if we wanna move the platen back um, and we're gonna hit yes. So we gotta make sure we take all of our stuff off the platen. I've definitely made that mistake before where I've hit the platen back and it has knocked my cleaning solution over. So I'm going to come over here. Now it's going to ask us to open up the cover here in a second. Once, we, uh, once the print head moves out of the way of the capping station and the head cap, it'll ask us to open the cover and it'll expose the area that we want to clean. So we'll open the cover. It asks you to see the manual, but it's pretty clear what we need to clean here. This is your head cap. And as you can see, it's dirty. And I'm gonna show you how to clean this thing. What we don't wanna clean is this. This is your anti-drying capping station. That and the uh, fabric roller, those two are replaced every 1,000 prints or so or when the printer reminds you to do that. That is ma a manual thing that you need to do, but it's not an actual manual cleaning. So I use, my, I use my cleaning solution. I use my fabric wiper. And what I wanna do in here is I just wanna kinda of get in there and start breaking up this cleaning solution. I kinda of think of, or this ink that's built up, I kinda of think of it as like when you're cleaning an oven, you know, you, you sometimes you just gotta put a lot of stuff on there to let it start breaking down the buildup. And that's really what we're doing here. We don't need to go crazy with it, but really just start kinda of working in there, getting this thing as clean as you can. And what the whole point here is when the printer does its cleanings, it puts, it spits a little bit of cleaning solution, or not, well, cleaning solution, but also ink down that head cap. And that head cap comes up and sucks under the print head, and it sucks ink and cleaning solution through as needed. And so if there's these holes in here are clogged, then you're not gonna get uh, good drainage. And if the, the, uh, the head cap itself is filled with residue, then you're not gonna get good suction. So these two things, this is a pretty important piece to clean. Fortunately, there is some manual cleaning, that the, uh, the automatic cleaning that the printer does on its own that keeps this thing pretty clean. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I just wanna show you how to get in here and clean this. And I like people to do this um, about every week or so or as needed. And I'll show you what is an indicator of as needed. So from here, um, I've got it pretty clean. I don't need to necessarily obsess over it. Um, I just need to make sure that these sides are clean. The rubber has good contact. There's no ink built up in there. There is some in here, and your tweezers are in your ink bay. Let me show you how to use these tweezers. There's some ink buildup on the side here. I just want to try to get in there and break up that buildup. And I should be able to just pinch it and pull it away. So there's that ink that was built up there. It's gone now. That gives me peace of mind in knowing that I'm in a good, a good connection between the printhead and the capping station. So once you get that to a point where you're comfortable with it being clean, you can shut this, hit the OK button, and then it'll bring it back over. And this is another piece that I wanna show you. This is an element that, um, this is sort of my indicator of when my head cap needs to be clean. So I'll let it do its thing. It's gonna spit a little bit of ink. Um, but this is my indicator here, this filter. This filter is your spit tray filter, and you can notice just barely that the, some blue ink is starting to build up there. When this starts to puddle up or become really saturated with ink, it's not draining through the filter anymore. It needs to be rinsed. So what I do is I'll pop this out, put it on a piece of paper right away, take it over to the sink, rinse it out really well. Get it the best you can. Once you see water start flowing through this thing, then you know that the filter is clean. And notice down in here how dirty your spit tray filter is. So this is really important to have this filter clean because when the print head goes and spits ink on top of it, once those ink droplets hit the, the filter, if it's not draining, it's just kind of dispersing and um, those ink droplets are going to kind of spread throughout the printer. Um, we do have a number of fans in here. We have a number of filters to keep that, to mitigate that. 
but we want to keep this as nice and clean as possible. So when this gets dirty and gets saturated, that's when it's time to clean your print head. So kind of think of or your head cap. So think of those two things as important things to do together. Any solution that I have left, I can jump, I can drop down here, help keep those lines clean if you want. Just kind of pour a little bit of solution in there. I'm gonna save some of this solution because we're gonna do another maintenance piece right now. But once this is rinsed, you can pop it back in. You can pop it back in wet, it doesn't matter. Uh, but that's a good important thing to clean. So back to our maintenance menu here. We're gonna do a clean around head. Um, this should be done sort of as needed, or if you ever see any banding or striping or um, um, kind of ink buildup on your shirt when it's printing, if you see any striping or anything like that, that's usually a dirty print head. In this case, I don't think we have to worry about it too much. Um, it doesn't really build up too, too terribly on the F2100, um, but maybe you can see in there, I don't know, it's pretty, pretty tight. Can you get the camera right up in there? It's pretty hard to see. This is your print head. Okay, and what we want to do when we clean it, you notice this thing's pretty clean. I can't even tell you the last time I cleaned this, but um, usually what we see is we see buildup around the sides here. And in the in the, the Epson cleaning manual, you want to take your you want to take your um, swab and clean the sides like this, and clean the sides in the back. What you don't want to touch is the print head itself. So there's one, two, three, four print heads in here that are printing CMYK in two whites and cleaning is right in the middle. So don't touch this with your print, with your swab, just clean the sides, okay? I'm gonna clean here, a little bit of those things. There's a very good Epson video on how to do this, but this is something to consider. So with that, your printer is, so it's gonna ask me to open the printer cover and clean it. Um, then it will do a little spit tray filter, kind of do its little cleaning. On your printer, you'll notice that you have a little Q, uh, QR code um, if you scan that with your camera, it will, it will take you to a video to, on all the maintenance videos for how to clean your Epson. Um, one thing that I want to address here is at the end of every print day, turn your printer off. There's been some, some discussion about whether you should do that or not, and the answer is absolutely yes. And the reason we want to turn it off, and I'm going to show you right now, it's, it says it may take five minutes, please do not open covers. What it's doing in that five minutes is cleaning the spit tray filter and cleaning the, the head, the capping station and the pump. So it's using that cleaning cartridge that's in your printer and it's cleaning itself with it. If you don't turn it off, that doesn't activate. So turn it on every day, let it run through its cycle, shake your ink, clean it as needed, print, make money, and when you're done, turn it off. With that, thanks for watching you guys. See you next Digital Monday.